If you offer free courses or lead magnets or anything like that, maybe you're experiencing the same thing that I've run into over the past couple of months. I'm talking about the use of disposable emails or emails that are throwaway or kind of like, it's basically a fake email, something that people can use to sign up for something and not actually give you their real email address to sign up. And that's pretty detrimental to people like us who are trying to build an email list to reach our audience, to provide them value and communicate with them on a real level. So if that's something that you're struggling with or you're just simply wanting to safeguard against, in this video, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to integrate a pretty much free tool into your workflow that integrates with all of the major email marketing tools that will allow you to validate and verify an email address before it is added to your mailing list, basically before you even have to pay for that person to be on your list and before you even add them as a user on your Thrive Apprentice site. So this is kind of like a whole validation workflow where if they have an invalid email, we kick them to the curb. If they're trying to hide their email using a disposable email, we just simply don't let them in. If that sounds interesting to you and something you'd like to implement into your tech stack, let's go. So I use ActiveCampaign for my businesses that need really dynamic and complex email marketing automation. And because I integrate with a ton of tools, ActiveCampaign provides me with that level of integration that I need to keep my business running smoothly. ActiveCampaign actually has a really affordable option. It's their light plan. It's pretty affordable and competitively priced compared to all of the other email marketing tools. You only need the light version, certainly only the light version for what I'm going to show you in this video, um, but they do have other bigger plans if you're a larger enterprise and need those options. But everything I am going to show you in this video works with pretty much all the big names, whether it's Active Campaign, Drip, MailChimp, Moosend, et etc. et cetera. It works with pretty much all of them. The tool that we're using to make this happen is called Quick Email Verification. It's a pretty great tool that's been around for a while and integrates with all the big name email providers. And the pricing is what really seemed intriguing to me. Just by having an account, you get 100 email addresses validated for free every single day. So if you think about that on a monthly basis, that's pretty much around 3000 emails per month that get validated at no cost to you. That's actually what I'm using because I'm not signing up more than 3000 emails a month on my website. If you're a big player and you do way more than 3000, well, you can come in and you can purchase additional credits. It's kind of like a pay as you go where you can sign up for a plan. It's kind of crazy. You can validate 10,000 emails for like $60. That's like absolutely nothing. But we're going to proceed using the free plan because that's what I use. And because I use Active Campaign, that's the tool I'm going to show in this video. But if you use any of the other programs, it's pretty much identical. Okay, so step one, we need to create some custom fields. And we need these custom fields because quick email verification is going to tell us whether or not the email was valid or invalid and whether or not it was a disposable email. Fields that we need to set up are quick email verification result, quick email verification reason, and quick email verification disposable. To add a custom field inside of Active Campaign, it's actually pretty easy. We come in here, click add field, we paste in the fields that we want to add. Again, quick email verification disposable, etc. And if you do want to copy and paste these to make sure you get them right, because they do need to be exact, I'll put those in the description. That way you can just copy them and paste them right in. For the group, you can leave it under group details, or if you sort your custom fields differently, go for it. And the field type, we're just going to leave as text. So all we have to do is click add. Once all three of those custom fields are added, we're done adding fields. Now, if you haven't already signed up for an account with quick email verification, that's the next step. Go ahead and do that. It's super easy. You click sign up, you give them your email, you verify your email address, and you're going to be inside your account. Once you're logged into quick email verification, you can go to API settings on the left-hand side, and then you'll be here on the API key page where you can create a new API key, give it a name. I named mine Active Campaign, and you'll get your key here. You just want to copy that because when we go over to Active Campaign or into your email program, you're going to want to paste it in. Now back over inside of Active Campaign, I'm going to look for quick email verification. There are a lot of integrations with Active Campaign. That's why I love it. So I'm just going to search for quick email hit enter. There it is. It's pretty easy to add an account in the upper right hand corner or on the screen if it pops up for you. Add an account. When you add a new account, it's pretty easy. Remember that API key? We just paste it in right here and then click connect. When you're all connected, you should see your account and you're ready to go. When setting up your account, you should also see a section like this. If you don't see a section like this, you will still see that you have an account listed here. You can just click on edit and that'll bring it up. We need to map data from quick email verification to our email provider. To do that, it's really simple. We're gonna use those custom fields we already created. So by default, 
email lines up with email and you can see here it's the data coming from quick email verification to active campaign so the results of the email verification we want to map to the quick email verification results the reason we're going to map it to the reason custom field and the disposable to the disposable custom field and with those set we're going to click finish Okay, so the connection between our email provider and quick email verification has been set up, but we now need to create an automation to utilize this integration and to validate emails that come into our funnel, whether it be through a free course or through a lead magnet. So now let's create an automation. Inside of Active Campaign, I've created an automation from scratch. And for my free course automation, when someone signs up, let's say for my free Thrive Theme Builder course, to get that user onto my email list and to validate their email and to start this automation, I'm adding them to a tag. So the start of my automation or the trigger is going to be that the user receives a tag. So for active campaign, that's called tag is added. Let's click on that. And the tag is my free course, my Thrive Theme Builder getting started. I'm going to go ahead and run this once and click add start. Next, we want to click on CX apps because we're connecting an application, which is our quick email verification. Scroll down until you find it and then click on it and then select the account that we've already set up. And here we're sending data to quick email verification. So on our previous setup where we were setting up the inverse of this, right? The data sent from quick email verification to active campaign. Here it's active campaign to quick email verification. And all we have to do is send the email and then click finish. So now we need to check the data that quick verification has given back to us about the validity of that email address. So the first thing we're going to do is click the wait option. So we're adding a wait option. And this is where I really, really like active campaign. The conditions that we're going to wait for are related to these custom fields. So under custom contact fields here, we're going to wait until our result is not blank. So basically once we got a result back from quick email verification, we're going to proceed. So we'll click save. And now we're going to choose a time to wait. I like to choose wait up to 20 minutes. Now, just so you're aware, this does not mean it's going to wait 20 minutes. In fact, I have found that this usually only takes a few seconds, maybe at most a minute to run this whole verification thing. So putting in 20 minutes there is more of just like a fallback. When you've got that set up, click save. And now we want to add another condition. So we'll go to conditions and workflow and we're going to add an if else. In other words, conditional logic. So now we're going to add two conditions here and we can do a compound condition. The first one, again, we're gonna use our custom contact fields. We're going to get the results and we're gonna make sure our result is not invalid. Basically quick email verification will shoot back a note and fill that custom field with the value invalid if the email address that's trying to register simply doesn't work. And it checks those based off of a whole slew of different factors like MX records and so on and so forth. Basically, they know whether or not an email is real or not. Another condition we want to add here, we're going to make sure it stays on the and option, is the custom contact field disposable. We want to make sure our disposable is not true. Basically, this is going to check to say, is this person using one of those services where they use kind of like a fake email that lasts for like five minutes or a week or a couple of days or until they can delete it. Basically, are they sending their emails to a fake email address that they can basically get rid of after they've got your content? We wanna make sure that that is not true. With these two conditions set, we're going to click on save. Now, here's where things actually get really cool with Thrive Apprentice. Because Thrive Apprentice is built in Thrive Suite, we have access to Thrive Automator. Thrive Automator is going to let us connect into Active Campaign, and only after we've validated this email, right? This user's email was validated, it's not disposable. Only now are we going to use the data that's come in and send a note over to Thrive Apprentice that this account can be created or this account can receive access to this free course or this lead magnet. So in this example, we're going to use a free course. We're gonna use actually my free course set up as an example. Now, just taking a really quick step back to get the user into active campaign or get them into your email list and tagged, you had to have them sign up in some way. For my process, I used ConvertBox, which is a tool I've done plenty of videos about here on the channel, but this could have been a form in Thrive Architect, it could have been a form in Thrive Leads, or however you wanted to add the user to your email list. So now in our example, we're going to take the user from our email list and we're going to 
either create an account and enroll them in the course, or we're going to simply enroll them in the course and add it to an account they may already have at our website. So for example, you might have a student who has signed up for a free course in the past or somehow already interacted with your brand. Maybe they bought a course from you in the past and this is another free course they're signing up with. This way of setting it up is actually really cohesive with existing accounts or creating new ones entirely. Thrive Automator is going to do all of that heavy lifting. For us, we're going to use the incoming webhook option and we're going to get a URL. We're going to use this URL in the future. Um, so we'll come back and click this copy button in just a second. But first we need to set up our key and value pairs. So these are going to be pretty custom to your email provider. I'm going to put in what ActiveCampaign wants to use, uh, but you'll need to find out what these are for Drip or MailChimp or whatever it is you're using. So for Active Campaign, the first one we want to send over is the contact email. So that's what we need to put into the key. And our value here is going to be dynamic mapping email. We're going to add another because I want the user's first name. And that's going to be similar. It's contact left bracket first underscore name right bracket. And the mapping there is just going to be generic data text. Once you've got those in, you can click done. And now we're going to add another action. And this action is going to be a WordPress action and we're going to find or create a user. And here's where we get to pair their first name. So we'll click on insert dynamic data here on the right hand side. We'll click under webhook data, right? Because we just got data in and there it is, our first name. And this is going to give us the syntax that we need in order to take that data we mapped from the webhook and drop it directly into the WordPress user. That's perfect. And by default, because an email must exist for an account on your website, it's gonna pull over the email. We don't need to map that, it's taking care of that for us. We're done with this step, so we'll click done. And lastly, we're going to add one more action and we're going to add the user to our Thrive Apprentice course. So I'll click on Apprentice. I will go to grant access to a product because if you're not familiar with Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Apprentice is a course platform, but it's also a membership or content protection tool. Essentially, you can create courses Add those courses in whatever configuration you want into a product, which is just a term that Thrive uses, and that product is what the user gets access to. So in our case, our free course, Getting Started with Thrive Theme Builder, is in a product. So I'm going to click Grant Access to a Product, and I'm going to search for my free training, How to Get Started with Thrive Theme Builder, and click Done. So let's really quickly walk through this. A webhook comes in from Active Campaign. It sends the data that we want, the email and the first name. We're creating an account or finding an existing account on our website, and we're going to match that data to the email address. And if it already exists, we're gonna move on. If it doesn't already exist, we're going to map the first name and create that account for the user. And then we're going to take that account, whether new or existing, and grant access to our Thrive Apprentice product. In this case, our free course, free training, how to get started with Thrive Theme Builder. One last step, don't forget, we want to click on our incoming webhook and copy that webhook so that we can take it back to Active Campaign. Click done, and then when ready, you can click active here or give it a name in the upper left and click save and finish. Now coming back to our automation, if the user has a valid email and not a disposable email address, then we're going to go over to our conditions and workflow and we're going to send a webhook. And what URL are we going to send it to? It's the webhook that we just copied. Basically, what that's going to do is it's going to run that process and Thrive Apprentice is going to take care of sending the credentials to the user so that they can log in. If you're not familiar with how that process works, I have other videos here on the channel that talk all about making sure that your website can send that welcome email with the account credentials. But we're not done yet, we have a couple more steps. In addition to getting their account credentials, I also like to send them an onboarding email. So we're going to send an email from Active Campaign by clicking on the plus, going to sending options and send an email. And I have an email already completed that I like to use. This is my onboarding email for my free courses. It basically says, welcome, here's how you get started, here's what you're going to learn, etc. And then I give a button to log in to access the training, which links over to my member dashboard, which is a member dashboard login page combo. I have a video about that here on the channel as well. And one thing I do like to include in this onboarding email is just this statement here that you should have received your login credentials. Basically, it's coming in another email. So once you have your email set up here, if you wish to send an email from your email provider, you can click save and exit. Now we have one final step. We still have this no option here on the right. So if they do have a disposable email or the email address is not valid, we certainly don't want to add them to our list 
or even create an account on our website. So we're going to click this plus sign. We're going to go to contacts and we're going to choose unsubscribe and we're going to choose unsubscribe from all lists because if either of those things are true, we don't want them. And then we'll just click save. And so are you sure you want to do this? Click OK. And now we've added an option here. If it's disposable or not a valid email, drop them. And we're done. We can give our automation a name, click save and make it active when we're ready. That's how I validate email addresses and make sure that users aren't signing up for my stuff with fake or disposable emails. What's really cool about it, as I showed you, is that it makes sure it's valid even before they get added to my Thrive Apprentice site, before they get access, before they get credentials. And if it's invalid or disposable, they're not gonna get added to my email list and I'm not gonna have to pay for them sitting inside my account. As you grow and scale your course website, this type of setup is going to be really valuable to you, not only in saving money on your email list, but also ensuring that the users that you're contacting and spending time reaching out to and providing value are actually real people who want your content. Like I've said throughout this video, I have several other videos here on my channel that go into more detail about some of the specific things that we covered. Definitely check those out. And if you have any questions about Active Campaign or Thrive Apprentice, definitely feel free to leave a comment or reach out. But that's going to do it for me in this video. I'm Doug from Convology, and I'll see you in the next one.